Hi, welcome to math time. It is module three, lesson three today. So two threes, lesson three, module three. And we're gonna start by getting your name and the date at the top and then coming back and pushing play on the video when you're ready to begin uh, number one. So you're gonna look for page nine in your book, pull out lesson three problem set and lesson three homework page and come back when you're ready to begin. All right, I'm assuming you're back and you've written your name and the date at the top and you're ready to start number one. We are doing exactly what we were doing yesterday, except sometimes today we get to use hundreds to count on instead of just ones and tens like yesterday. So we're still building those mental math skills. We're learning how to count in our head from a given number up to a bigger number. So let's get started. Number one says draw label in box 90. So that's what we're gonna be working with first. We're gonna draw 90 little straws and we're going to use that to count up to 300. So let's get started with drawing 90. Um, 90, how do we draw that? Hopefully you know we need to draw nine tens bundles. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw nine skinny bundles of 10. And if I'm going too fast for you, you can push pause and come back and push play when you finish. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's my nine bundles of 10. So I drew them and now I need to label them and box them. So for labeling them, I'm gonna put a 90 underneath here and then box. So box just means draw a box around it. And that's where we're going to be starting uh, with our counting from 90, okay? So now we need to draw pictures of the units that we use to count from 90 to 300. So sometimes we start by counting by ones uh, to get to, to make a 10, but we already are, have a zero here in the ones place. So we're not gonna need to start counting by ones. We could also start counting by hundreds, which some kids prefer to do, but I think that's a little bit hard. If we counted by hundreds, we would say 90, 190, 290. If that works for your brain and you wanna count by hundreds first, I'm perfectly fine with that. What I'm gonna do, what makes the most sense for my brain, I'm gonna count by tens first until I get to an even hundred number, and then I'm gonna count by hundreds. So if I have 90, I'm gonna go ahead and draw one more skinny tens bundle of straws here. If I had 90 and I'm gonna add one more bundle here, now how much am I going to have? So 90 plus 10 more, I'm going to have 100, okay? So 90, 100. I'm trying to get up to 300. So I counted by tens and I went from 90 to 100. And now how can I go from 100 to 300 using the easiest number to count by, the easiest unit to count by? So I could go 101, 102, 103 and count all the way up to 300. That would take us a really long time. I could count by tens and I could say 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170, 180, all the way to 300. And you see how long that would take? But I could do it. But the fastest way to get from 100 to 300 is by counting by what? What do you think is the fastest way to count from 100 to 300? Hopefully you said hundreds. So if we have 100 and we draw a fat bundle of straws here, a hundreds bundle, if we start at 100 and we have another 100, now what do we have? 200. And then I'm trying to get up to 300, so now what do I do if I'm at 200? Now I'm gonna draw another fat bundle of straws. So I had 90, 100, 200, and one more 100 makes. 300. So that's how I would count from 90 up to 300. Next, draw a label and box 300. So I'm going to stop there and just go ahead and do that first. So 300, how many hundreds bundles do you need for 300? You need 300 bundles. So I'm going to write 300 and I'm going to box it. So I drew them by drawing the hundred straws. I labeled it by putting the 300 and then I boxed it, okay? Draw pictures of the units you use to count from 300 to 428. Okay, again, there's lots of ways that you could do this. You could start counting by ones first. You could start counting by tens first. You could start counting by hundreds first. For my brain, it makes the most sense to count by hundreds first because we're already here at an even like hundred number. 
So I'm going to use one bundle of 100. I'm going to go from 300. And if I have another bundle of 100, what do I get? Now I'm going to get to 400. Okay. I'm trying to go to 428. So can I add another hundreds bundle? No, that would be too much. I would end up at 500. And I'm trying to get to 428. So that won't do. Can I count by tens? 400. Can I count by tens to get to 428? Absolutely. So that's what I'm going to use next is tens. So 400. Here's a skinny tens bundle. So 400 and a 10 is 410. Can I use another 100? Yep. No. Can I use another 10? Yes. So I'm going to draw another skinny tens bundle here. So I have 300, 400, 410. And then another 10 is 420. Okay. Can I use another 10? I have 420. Can I add another 10? I cannot add another 10 because then I would be at 430, which is way too much. Okay. So that only leaves me one thing to count by and it's ones. So I have 420. I'm going to add one straw, which gets me to 421. I'm going to add another straw, which gets me to 422. I'm going to add another one that gets me to 423. Another one, 424. Another one, 425. Another one, 426. Another one, 427. And I'm trying to get to 428, so I need one more, 428. So that's how we counted from 300 up to 428. We said 300, and we added another 100 to get to 400. And then tens to go 410, 420. And then we stopped counting by tens and we switched to count by ones. 421, 422, 423, 424, 425, 426, 427, 428. Great job. Let's pancake flip our math page over. Number three, draw, label, and box 428. And we're going to be counting up to 600. So our first job is to draw, label, and box 428. So if I'm going too fast for you, go ahead and push pause and get your 428 drawn there. So 428 has four hundreds. How many tens does 428 have? Two tens, so two skinny tens bundles of straws. And how many ones? Eight ones. We're going to label it 428 and put a box around. Perfect. Okay, now we're counting all the way up to 600. And think about that in your head. If you counted from 428 all the way up to 600, how very, very long that would take you if you counted by ones. 428, 429, 430, 444, all the way to 600. That would take you a very long time. So let's see what we can do to make it a little bit easier for ourselves. We have 428, what should we start counting by first? ones, tens, or hundreds. Some of you might prefer counting by hundreds first. That's okay, you would go 428, 528, and then you decide what to do after that. I'm not, I'm gonna count by ones first because I wanna get this ones place to make a 10. So how many ones do I need to get that ones place to make a 10? I hope that you said two. I need two ones so that this eight can turn into a 10. So. I'm gonna say one one, so 428, I need 429. And if I have one more one, that makes 430. And I'm trying to get all the way to 600. So I'm gonna stop counting by ones now because I have a nice even number and I'm going to count by tens until I get to an even hundred stopping spot, which is 500. So I'm at 430, I'm gonna count by tens until I get up to 500. Okay, so 430, if I'm counting by tens, what's after 430? Only my tens place is gonna go up by one. I'm gonna have 440. Make your ones place go up by one again with another 10, 450. And another 10, 460. And another 10, 470. Another 10, my tens place is going to go up by one again, 480, 490, 
What comes after 490 if you're counting by tens? 500. And I'm trying to get to 600. So now that I got to 500, what should I do? I could count by ones, but that would take me 100 little ones. I could count by tens, but that would mean I'd have to draw 10 more of the little tens bundles, and that would take me a while. What could I count by instead to get from 500 to 600? I can use a fat bundle of straws that represents 100. So I can say 500 and 100 more is 600. Hopefully you're keeping your order that you went in like this, kind of like how you read a book. So you don't want to just have all of these jumbled all over the page. You want to make sure that you can tell what order they go in because that's important, what order you counted them in. Okay. All right, let's do number four. It's our last one for our problem set today. We have draw, label, and box 600. So we have no ones to draw and we have no tens to draw and how many hundreds do we have to draw to make 600? We have six hundreds to draw. So one, two, remember if I go too fast, you can push pause. Three, four, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. I'm going to label it with a 600 underneath and I'm going to box it. All right, draw pictures of the units you use to count from 600 to 1,000. When you're a kid, 1,000 sounds like the hugest number ever. I remember that from when I was seven and eight years old. I thought 1,000 was the hugest number ever. <laughs> so don't get stressed. We'll figure it out. All right, we have an even 100 here, so we don't need to really count by ones or tens. It's already at a hundred number, it's at 600. So let's try counting by hundreds. What happens 600 and you add one more hundred, that means only our hundreds place is gonna go up by one. So 600, one more hundred, we're gonna get to 700. Okay, 700, one more hundred, so our hundreds place is gonna go up by one. Now we have 800. We need to get to 1,000, so we're not there yet. 800, if we add another 100, our hundreds place is going to go up by 1. So now we have 900. And do you know what happens if you add 100 more to 900? Do you know? 900, one more 100 equals 1,000. And look, it kind of makes sense because 9 in the hundreds place if you add one more, that means the hundredth place is going to go up by one. So that nine is going to turn into a 10 in this spot with the two zeros after. So look, a 10 and 10 hundreds. Pretty cool. All right. And that's it for problem set uh, three today. We're just practicing those mental math skills of counting on from any number you're given and thinking of how you can think that through in your head, how to count on. We're going to use those skills um, and some later problem sets to do some actual addition subtraction work. So we're just building those mental math skills to make them stronger. Um, so it starts kind of being something that you think about in your head when you think about other math problems. All right, on page 11 in our book today is our homework set. Lesson three homework page. So it says fill in the blanks to reach the benchmark numbers. So you kind of have to look at it and decide what they're counting by. I think that this is one that some of you are going to need to do with me in the rest of the video. But I also think a few of you, if you kind of glance at it right now, might say, I don't really think that I need your help, Ms. Covenant. I can probably figure this out on my own if I read the directions. So if you think you can do it on your own, go ahead, turn the video off and go work on it independently, which is a word for by yourself. If you think you're needing Mrs. Covenant's help today for the homework, since this is still a new concept, I am happy to do it with you. Okay, so let's Get started. I hope you've turned off the video if you didn't want my help. Fill in the blanks to reach the big benchmark numbers. Well, we have to figure out what they counted by. We have to figure out if they counted by ones or tens or hundreds. So if the 14 is here and the 20 is all the way over here, does it look like they counted by hundreds? Does it look like they counted by tens? Doesn't look like they counted by tens either. Look how many blanks there are before, between 14 and 20. So it looks like they counted by ones. So I'm not actually going to write those because I really hope you know how to fill in the blanks to count by ones from 14 to 20. So 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and then 20. 
Okay, now that we've reached 20, there are two spaces between 20 and 50. So what is it that you think that they counted by to get from 20 up to 50? Do you think that they counted by ones? That would be 21, 22, 50. Do you think that they counted by hundreds? Because that would be 20, 120, 220, 50. That doesn't make very much sense either. So what's left that they could have counted by? Hopefully you said tens. So go ahead and start here with 20 and you're gonna count by tens to get to 50. So 20, 20. Okay, next, 73 up to 80. They have all of these spaces in between. Do you think that they counted by tens to get from 73 to 80? 73, 83, 93, 103, 113, 123, 133, 80? Well, that doesn't make sense. I think they counted by what? Hopefully you can see that they counted by ones because that's a lot of spaces to not go very far between 73 and 80. So they counted by ones until they got to that even, they made a 10 here, that even 10 number, okay? So 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. Okay, hopefully you know how to write all of those numbers. Once you get to 80, what does it look like they counted by? 80 something, 100. They counted by tens to get to 100. And then 100 blank, 300. Well, it's not by ones, that'd be 100, 101, 300. That doesn't make sense. One, not by tens, 100, 110, 300. Oh, what about hundreds? 100, 200, 300? Yes, that makes sense, right? Okay, now that we're at 100, what did they count by to get to 320? 300, 310, 320. So they counted by tens. All right, I would like for you to figure out without my help here how to get from 65 to 70 if you have these spaces in between. So there's four spaces in between. What would you count by to get from 65 up to 70, up to the even 10? Okay, and once you get to 70, what did they count by to get to the next 100? Fill those in the blanks. Next, they went from 30 all the way up to 100. So let's see if they counted by ones like the other ones did. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. It's not by ones. Try something else and see if you can get up to 100. Okay, and once you get to 100, what did they count by to get to 400? 101, 102, 400, so that doesn't work. 110, 120, 400, that doesn't work either. So what did they count by to get from 100 to 400? Fill in those blanks. These are ones, tens, and hundreds. How many sticks are there in all? Well, you can tell that these fat ones are hundreds. So there's 100, 200, 3 hundreds, right? So you need to put a three in the hundreds place. And how many tens bundles are there? I see one, two, three, four in the tens place. So four tens bundles. So you need to put a four in your tens place. And then how many ones are there? One, two, three, four ones. So you need to put a four in your ones place. So that's how many sticks there are in all. Show a way to count from 668 to 900 using ones, tens, and hundreds. So you don't have to draw the ones, tens, and hundreds on this one unless you would really like to. Otherwise, you can just write out the numbers that you would use to get from 68, 668 all the way to 900. So you can just start with the number 668. And I'm gonna try to make this eight here to an E, uh, to make a 10, because he's not, he's eight ones. So let's try to get him to make a 10. So how many more ones do we need for the eight to become a 10? 669. What comes after 669 if you're counting by ones? 670. And we're trying to get all the way to 900. So 670. Now what can I count by? I could count by hundreds. I could count by ones, but I'm going to count by tens now that I have an even tens number here. So 670. 680. What's 10 more than 680? I'm going to put commas in between so you can tell they're different numbers. 
680, what's 10 more than 680? That means only my tens place is gonna go up by one, 680, 690. I have 69 tens, one more would be 70 tens, so 700. I'm gonna stop counting by tens now because now I have an, an even 100 number and I can now count by hundreds. So I'm trying to get to 900. If I have 700, how many hundreds do I need? I'm counting by hundreds now. It's a 700, 800, 900. Good job. We're going to pancake flip that homework page over, and we have a couple more on the back. Sally bundled her sticks in hundreds, tens, and ones. How many sticks does Sally have? So I would like for you to count the hundreds and put that number in the hundreds place. I would like for you to count the... I'm going to put stars underneath the tens and put how many tens in the tens place. And I would like for you to count the ones and put that number in the ones place. Draw three more hundreds and three more tens. So right here, you need to draw one, two, three more hundreds and three more tens. So one, two, three. Count and write how many sticks Sally has now. So now you need to count up all of these sticks together and get a hundreds. So remember, these are hundreds that I already did over there, plus these. So those and these are tens. We have these and the three you just drew. And then our ones, we only have those original ones. They didn't ask us to draw any more ones. So right here, you need to say Sally. has, and then whatever that number is, sticks now, period. And that's it for today's homework. Thank you for joining me for math today. And I hope that you didn't get frustrated and that you just tried to kind of change your thinking on how to count things, add things up in your head and count from one number to the next. Um, Sometimes when things are new, they get frustrating and they seem a little bit hard, but after you practice them more and more and those mental math skills get stronger and stronger, it doesn't seem quite so difficult anymore. So thanks for sticking with me and I will see you tomorrow for math. Goodbye.